Hello, Nabuda Bloody Eyes here, and I am in a personal dojo on the Antonio Bell server. Um, this is video number three um, for the Nabuda House Challenge, um, which is my birthday present, um, where several decorators got together and like decorated some of my homes for me, um, which I have been really excited um, and, and a little bit confused too because I get lost easy. But this is a dojo, can't possibly get lost in here. Okay, so I'm going to pan out now. Ooh. Oh, the moss looks red with that red lighting. I really like that. Well, look at these flowers. Okay, so there's a house actor somewhere. Must be this guy standing next to me. Next train departs in five minutes. Ooh, is this a train station? Fody. Con. Okay. Fody. Con the Gray? Con the Gray? If you are quite done pushing up the daisies, your train is about to depart. <laughs> pushing up the daisies. <clears throat> These windows look like coffins. <coughs> Ooh! It's kind of spooky here's been here. <laughs> All important door to the guild hall right here. Well, let's just, just say we've taken Spooky to the nth degree. <laughs> okay. What is this frog doing? It's like he's kicking somebody back in a box. Oh, are these morgue drawers? What are these? Or lockers? Lockers. 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 So this is like a train station to the underworld or something, right? <laughs> nice. Okay, there's portraits. Let's check it out. Okay, Lorenth. Depart on the train, dragging a leg behind. <laughs> Lily Ironforge. Carried her broken heart with her when she departed. Dahlia the Vigil. Vi vigilantly cradling her head in her arms as she departed on the train. <laughs> Newly departed. To see if someone you know or loved recently departed, check the board. But no worries, you will be joining them soon enough. Lachlan Caldthorn took the train bearing a detached arm. Boy, people had it rough, didn't they? Tesla Blackthorn. Facial features nearly obliterated. She stumbled blindly onto the train before it departed. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's more. The names of each of those people are, are they're actually names of people from the Freeport and Kino City timelines. Oh, they are? Cool. Yep. That is good to know. One way ticket. No refunds. Love it. So did you guys put the put the flowers here for like another purpose or or is it just like just just some I mean like what like what is the purpose of these flowers right here? Like do they have a special meaning? They're the same flowers that were in Yeah, it's where you entered at. Oh, duh! Oh my god, that's right by the door, too. I'm slow, but I get there, gotcha. Hence <laughs> oh this guy's god. comment. Got it. I'm slow. Oh, and this is the train. Oh, I see, and then this is the train. I thought this was going to be another room. Cool! Okay, let me look down here. Look at this. That's cool. Dig it! Look, it looks like, look, it, it does, looks just like it's coming right out of a tunnel. And going into like you know an ethereal tunnel over here. It's all glowing green and, and what's and what's under this? Is this a skeleton under there? <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, this is bigger than what it looks on the. Oh, that's a mirror. <laughs> well, that. That's the reason for the reflection for the re the reflection test. I'm all like, I'm like, oh, this is a lot bigger than it looks, and I walk right up to it, and I'm like, oh, there's a troll coming. Oh, that's me! <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's an awesome optical illusion. I love that. There's some more house actors for you. Wait, did I walk, did I walk past one? No. Okay, here we go. You're oh. about to see him. Oh, Let's see. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. So, Modus Aestus. Okay, I guess the other one says it first because this guy is just a uh hind. -huh okay, so Adoria Aestus. 
I tell you, we surely be running dry of fuel before we get the next station. What say ye to we grabbing a few passengers again to stoke the fire? So the passengers also have to help yeah. on the train? They're going to hell, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> They're going, going to hell via the fire. Throw yourself into engine firebox? <laughs> Okay, okay, I gotta check this now. Okay. Oh, it's dark. I I was still waiting to zone. <laughs> it's just dark. <laughs> Turn back to it. Oh my gosh! How did you cram this in here? <laughs> Silent movie, past teller. Nothing but gestures to the various pages found on the floor. Yeah, make sure you read the page on the floor below you there. Motions to the various pages found on the floor. Pages detailing a history lie before you. Scenes of that history appear below. Fact or fiction, fantasy or reality, or scenes from another dimension. Only the viewer witness to these memories can decide for the truth for themselves. Perhaps, just perhaps, this history will reveal the answer to a question of why. Walk. Running ahead may lead to unforeseen consequences. Well, it's a good thing you said that. Stand upon each page for the preferred point of view down into the scene. Click each page for your silent movie dialogue. First person perspective suggested for better detail. Okay, let's check this out then. I like this little entryway. This is really cool. I cannot believe you guys fit that in here. Oh my gosh! How did you make that look like a baby down there? <laughs> Page is there to your left. Baby's room. Aw, isn't the little baby so cute? Baby Nabuda. <laughs> Giggles and shoes on her dolly gleefully waving her hands. That is hilarious. Oh, look, little spider. Little spider mobile. How did you guys make that look like a baby down there? Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's awesome. That is awesome. How did you fit this in this little dojo? My goodness. You're not done. There's yet. more. There's more. There's more? Oh, there's a hallway over there. Oh, look, there's Sayerex. He's he's just he's leading me like a carrot on a string cuz he looks so tasty. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, going up. Okay, dang. That this is a this is a mind blow. This is a mind job here. Okay. Oh, we lost here now. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, look, baby Nabuda is peeing on her caretaker. <laughs> hey, just here, left. Oh my god, that's too funny. That is freaking awesome. Yeah. Okay, Nanny Annie appears to be angry about something as she changes baby Nabuta's diaper. Nanny Annie, hold still, you little brat. Black, stop that. Baby Nabuta. Ga ga goo goo. Nabuta giggles as she chews on her frostbow candy cane. I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I can't even get over it. I'm dying. Hold on, Hanaka. I'm coming. Oh my god. So what you did here is put the house actor in like the crouch position and then moved the house actor on the back. And what did you use for the pee stream here? It's a fountain. The one that um, Shadowplay made. Come this way. Where are you at, Honoka? Don't go down. Oh. I came back down to the engine. Yeah, come back up here again. Yeah, I'm going to pull myself back in again. Hang on. Yeah, you can't miss okay. Baby Nabuta peeing on somebody, because that's too hilarious. Well, I've seen it through the floor, but that's about it. All right, here I am. Okay, follow it. Oh, here it is. Okay. 
just too dark for me, that's all. Yeah. It is very dark. Yeah. Okay, I think awesome. We um, be right back, phone. Okay. Did you see the see the hamper over there? Yeah. Is that like dirty diapers? <laughs> nice. Okay. So my favorite part of this is baby the Buddha peeing on somebody. That's freaking hilarious. Summer camp. Okay, camp Murdunk summer camp for teens. Murdunk falls with the Firat. Half high elf boys snicker snicker, attempting to hide behind the foliage, watching Nabuda's reaction to the beehive gift they placed in her tent. Teen Nabuda, when you asked if I wanted some honey, this is not what I had in mind. Followed by a stream of expletives and obscenities. That's awesome. Nabuda does not like high elves anyway, see. <laughs> she should beat them up. You see what's in the tent, right? No. What was in the tent? It just looked like a bedroll to me. You know, you didn't... <laughs> what did they put in her tent? Is that where the beehive is? I don't... Is that what those are? They look like mm -hmm. bedrolls. You see, the... you see the, little, the little hole and all the bees flying around it? I don't even see the bees flying around it. I do see the hole. But I don't see the bees. Oh, how weird. You should see them. They're, like, flying all around the tent. Oh, why can't I oh, see the you do have it. You do have I at least base balanced, um, balanced graphics, yes? Oh, yeah. I have it, like, set on extreme plus customized to make it even better, so it, I should be able to see them. Hey, you should be able to. The beehive, there's a little hole where the bees come out of. There, there's no bees for me. Why can't I see the bees? Now I'm mad. Yeah, first person or third person for sex. I'm in first person. No, I don't see any bees. Oh. Well, I'm getting ripped off. Maybe but there's a graphic setting I don't have turned on. Wonder if there's a graphic setting I don't have turned on. Maybe, maybe animations or something. Okay, back again. Welcome back. I've got it in my video. Love that. Work on it maybe oh. after. Baby Buddha. Eh? That oh. is so funny. That is hilarious. Yeah, the one peeing, I love that. Yeah, we've got loaded diapers there too. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Get the fumes coming up out of the hamper. <laughs> All right, now where the heck did you guys go this time? Right around the corner. Hey, good. Right behind you. Oh, up, yeah, around the corner. Oh, and, I see, yeah, uh, I see, yeah, I see, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I can't see the bees. There's supposed to be bees flying around this tent right here, like down where the opening is. There's supposed to be bee, bees flying around. Only I can't see the bees, and I don't know why I can't see the bees. I'm getting gypped. Well, let us continue. Oh, Karina, oh I see her, them. Her video, you can see it on the video yeah. one later. Yeah, pretty much if you follow the, the ten. Yeah, if, if you follow the right wall all the way around here, you, there's no way to get lost. Yep. You don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> Is this note clicky? I can't click the note. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, you have to stand on it and look straight down. There's certain, the, 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 it's all based on your angle um, of which way you're facing in here. Um, if you haven't figured it out yet, we're in a breakout. Uh, and you have to be able to target the dojo to be able to see things. I, I didn't, I didn't know you could break out of the dojo. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, after well, let's break up. Yeah. After slaving all day over a hot stove and preparing a fancy dinner for her beau, Nabuda glares angrily at his reaction to her cooking. His behavior, however, does not affect her appetite <laughs> the slightest. Oh my. Too much. Is that a high elf? Do you have Nabuda dating a high elf? 
Well, this guy's getting stabbed later. <laughs> well, you haven't heard mention of the, the Twilight Zone thing yet, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Take a note at the stove. It's fish! <laughs> <laughs> it's <Nice>. a dead fish. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> Holy crap! But far, far corner, far corner. At the chapel, the cleric and the cleric and Nabuda await the arrival of her soon-to-be husband. Seemingly unaware of those waiting on him, he is focusing his attention outside the chapel. Nabuda impatiently screams out expletives and obscenities as she throws her bouquet on the ground, causing the roses to scatter about the floor. Cleric flinches at each statement of harsh language flowing from Nabuda's mouth. What's what's he doing, flirting with somebody? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. This we use red. Nabuda's favorite color. <laughs> yes, of course. Red, red, red. Red, red rum, red rum. That high elf skin stay. Oh, Nabuda, you, you left the chapel so quickly. Why, why is that? <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, Nabuda appears to be let's see, breaching the gate. Nabuda appears to be hysterical as she kicks at the gate to their residence. A sign posted upon the gate says, No trolls allowed. Let me in. This is our house. High elf male nonchalantly states, Not anymore, you are cut off and it all belongs to me now. Ogre female laughs and moons Nabuda from the other side of the fence. Oh my gosh. That's awful. <laughs> oh my gosh. You see the skull <laughs> next to the bush? No. On the dirt side of the fence. Oh. Underneath your feet. Oh, I see it. <laughs> and notice what's hanging over Nabuda. <laughs> oh my gosh. Rain cloud. Yeah, I saw that. It was kind of like we were thinking how in the okay, comics stop, stop, they, stop, they stop, have the. Storm just stand right ah! in front of the. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. It's perfect. But you have to take a good look at the treasure hoard, so, you know, but you're good. What treasure hoard? So it's a little... Yeah, it's, it's a little trap we put in here. <laughs> it just don't stop. It's awesome. Me. Atop the hall. Dang it, I keep bringing up the little... Okay, one sees dust settling at the base of the tower, the image of a female troll face down in a prepared grave. Hi, Elf Mel. So long, Nabuda. It was nice knowing you. I'm almost to self. Now where did that life insurance scroll get off to? Standing atop the tower, looking distractedly off into the distance. Nabuda lays motionless, having fallen from the top of the tower, now vaguely perceiving someone asking her if she is quite done pushing up the daisies. Oh my gosh. You remember Fody yeah. at the entrance. Yeah. Awesome. That's crazy. <laughs> nice. Now the Buddha's had a whole life where she gets killed by some crappy high elf. Now she has even more reason to stab high elves. <laughs> Great story, guys. Great story. <laughs> yeah. My favorite part is the Nabuda peeing on, on the nanny. I thought that was good, too. Have you ever wondered why to put any tiles? Maybe this is where it began. Uh, you never maybe know. so, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, now what is this? Hold on a second here. Woo! Pretty. Okay, I gotta turn around and look at that. Nice. Look at the red Christmas trees. And the pumpkin heads on the dead ones. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> There's a bunch of sparkling happening here. Yep. There's a couple of house actors for you. There's a page on the floor over here, too. Oh, let's let's read the page first. Where'd the page go? There it is. Whoops. 
Sorry, Okie. Okay, yeah, we tried to incorporate all. We tried to incorporate all your favorite things into this house. Nice, nicely done. Of course, the pen. I'm sorry, the baby Nabuta pen is just takes the cake. <laughs> okay, this house was decorated by Demora Vasiago and Sarex of the Module Server, also known as DVC. In appreciation for all that Nabuta has contributed to the Norath decorating community across all servers, and to wish her a very happy birthday. Thank you. In order to acknowledge appreciation for their efforts in aiding the decorating project, Team v DVC would like to give special thanks to Ocarina for setting up the ma and managing this project and for assisting us to obtain items needed to complete this project. Kian of Troy, Yukiti, Gretel, Kalis, Kalis, that's from Star Trek, somebody's a Star Trek fan, Zyrith, and Kitsune for their many contributions of crafting or providing items slash rares in order to complete this project. The North decorated community for all the positive support and encouragement they have given us. The videographers who have felt compelled to assist in the creation of home video tours following in Buddha's footsteps. Nice. Very nice. <coughs> yeah, three house actors have something to say, too. Okay, let's see. Demora says, Happy birthday, Nabuda! Vasiago Blade Song says, Vasiago. I wonder if Nabuda would be angry if I stick my carabine in her cake. Oh, surprise, Nabuda. Nice. Oh. Sayrex Onefur says, Happy birthday, Nabuda. Gives Nabuda a smear, uh, a near smothering burry eye hug. <laughs> near sm I might accidentally eat you, Sayrex. I'm sorry. You're just tasty. Oh, oh, dang it. I almost did it again. <laughs> It's supposed to be a representation of the pearly gates. Nice. Nice. This is nice. You guys did a good job on this. My goodness. Thank you. And then you'll notice if you stand on um, the house portal, it'll take you right back to the uh, crumbs that keep. Crumbs that Awesome job, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, yep. Happy this birthday, Nabuta. Really Thank you. Yes, this is great. So great. Oh, I better end my video, too. Okay, so Nabuta's almost uh, about to go through the pearly gates, so I guess that's got to be the end of the video. 